Quran narrates the following conversation between the Pharaoh of Moses and an individual referred to as Haman. Here Pharaoh commanded Haman to build a tower that would allow him to reach the heavens. It's important to understand that Pharaoh's intention was not to literally scale a tower to reach the sky. Rather, it's a reference to the Egyptian belief that after death, the Pharaoh would ascend from earth to heaven, taking his place among the gods. As we read earlier, the author of the Quran had an awareness of ancient pyramid texts that detailed such beliefs. Egyptian monuments housed the bodies of dead pharaohs. These monuments acted as a bridge between this world and the next. They were filled with religious writings that served as instructions to help the dead pharaoh ascend to the heavens. Hence, the person in charge of constructing such a monument for pharaoh would not only need to be skilled in architecture, but also highly knowledgeable in religion, a builder priest of sorts. Let's now turn to history to see if we can identify an individual known as Haman, who was both a builder and a priest. Earlier we concluded that Ramesses II was the pharaoh at the time of Moses, so we will focus on this time period. A block statue in the Egyptian Museum of Munich contains a biographical account of the life of a high priest named Baken Khonsu. In his own words he states, I am one truly reliable, useful to his Lord, who performs beneficent deeds within his temple. I being principal chief of works in the estate of Amun, I erected obelisks of granite stone whose tops reach to the sky. Here, Baken Khonsu tells us that he served the pharaoh in two ways, first by performing rituals in the temple and second as chief architect. In fact, Baken Khonsu was an architect extraordinaire, being one of the greatest in all of ancient Egypt. He is responsible for constructing the Temple of Amun at Karnak, a monument that remains one of the largest religious structures ever created by man. With regards to the priesthood, Baken Khonsu informs us that he had a very long and illustrious career. I was a third prophet of Amun for 15 years. I was a second prophet of Amun for 12 years. He appointed me high priest of Amun for 27 years. Here Baken Khonsu is stating that he served the god Amun throughout his priestly career. Amun is the name of an Egyptian deity who rose to prominence during the New Kingdom period. By the time Bakin Khonsu died, he had been a priest for many decades, having served Ramesses II as high priest throughout his reign. Both Ramesses II and Bakin Khonsu were contemporaries who died around the same time. What about the Quran's mention of Haman? How does it relate to Bakin Khonsu? Bakin Khonsu referred to himself by the title High Priest of Amun. The actual phrase in the hieroglyphics is Ham Nata Tapi Amana. The word Ham literally means servant, and Amana is how you articulate the name of the god Amun in Egyptian. Bakin Khonsu was Ham Amana, meaning servant of Amun. The Quran's mention of Haman may be simply an Arabized version of the Egyptian Hamamana. Let's now summarize the main points about Bakin Khonsu. He was a senior ranking figure under Pharaoh Ramesses II, acting as both high priest and chief architect. He served in the temple of the god Amun and thus had the title Hamamana. It is clear that all of the historical evidence fits perfectly with the Quranic narrative. Now it's important to point out that the Bible also mentions a Haman, but the resemblance is only in name. The biblical Haman served under a Persian king and bears no relation to the Quranic Haman of Egypt. Yet again, these are details that are completely missing in the biblical narrative. In this video, we have seen that the Quran has a remarkable insight 
into many facets of ancient Egypt, revealing long-lost knowledge while also correcting the Bible. Claims that the author of the Quran copied from the Bible are clearly rubbish in light of such facts. The Quran boldly declares its origins. <laughs> to learn more about the miracles of the Quran, please download your free copy of the book, The Eternal Challenge, at the link below.